In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the wires in DS Max. So I'm going to start off with two planes. Um, you can do the same, 50 by 50. And we'll just go ahead and make a cost plane. So my sub move tool, hold down your shift key, drag along the X or Y axis, and make a copy. If you press F4 on your keyboard, it'll show your edges um, on both your objects. And this is a really important place to start. So if you go to your Modify tab and increase the length and width segments to 50 and 50, it'll create a nice and flash for our objects where we can get really nice um, deformations when we're applying the modifiers. So on this one, um, let's go ahead and rename it. It'll be Wave Ripple. So on my Wave object, I'm going to go to my modifier list and add the Wave modifier. So you can achieve increasing the amplitudes. So there's amplitude one and amplitude two. So you can create it however you'd like. You can see the different deformities that can take place. You can also adjust length, which is going to be how concentrated the waves are. Um, phase is going to be used for animation. So if you want to animate this object um, flow, do that. And then decay to concentrate the waves in the center. Um, until it totally decays or fades out to the ends. So if we try to animate this, we can actually turn auto drag auto to our selected number of frames. Um, and let's put that phase, let's actually increase that a little bit, let's say 20. So you can see it makes frames, and I'll bring it back to zero, press play, and we have this nice little wave effect. So the other thing that waves can be used for other than water, is so I'm going to go ahead and put the decay down at zero. Yeah. And let's put the amplitudes at something relatively even. Uh, actually, on my snaps toggle. Oh. And I can rotate it along the y-axis. Um, and a curtain. Um, feel free to put a curtain rod through it, whatever works for you. So the next thing I'll show you is how to use the ripple modifier. So similar thing, we have our nice refined mesh for our type in Ripple. And it works kind of the same way, but with Ripple, you have concentric circles that are created. So we can adjust our first amplitude and our second amplitude, desired effect. Um, you can also increase or decrease the wavelength, which will make it um, more circle less than trying to create. This again is our animation. Um, decay is going to do the same thing. Keep the waves a little concentrated in the center and then decay it out um, until. So if you have any questions about either one of these skills, um, please ask me or um, write in the comments and feel free to experiment with other shapes as you're trying out the